In this tour, we'll look at the wire transfer feature. You'll see how to set up your company to record wire transfer payments to your vendors and to record a wire transfer that's been processed through the bank. You can enable wire transfers by selecting the Enable Wire Transfers checkbox in Accounts Payable Options. If setting up a new company, you can enable wire transfers using the Accounts Payable Setup Wizard. When enabling wire transfers in Accounts Payable Options, no transactions can be in progress in Manual Check and Payment Entry. Now that the wire transfer feature is enabled, let's take a look at Manual Check and Payment Entry. After enabling the wire transfer feature in Accounts Payable Options, you can record a wire transfer payment to your vendor using Manual Check and Payment Entry. At the Bank Code field, you must enter the code for the bank from which the check or wire transfer funds will be withdrawn. Depending on the selection you made in Accounts Payable Options, the bank code last entered at this field may appear. At the Payment Type field, you can select a check payment, a wire transfer, or a wire transfer reversal. At this point, the check number field is disabled and the field is populated with a five-character system-generated sequence number preceded with the letter W to indicate that it is a wire transfer payment. Each time you enter a wire transfer payment, the number is incremented by one. The use of a system-generated number saves you from using your regular check numbers. Let's continue with the transaction by entering a date, the amount, and the vendor that will receive the wire transfer. At the Wire Transfer Number field, you can enter a confirmation number from the bank. This field is optional. The number you enter at this field appears on the register and reports as well as the inquiry programs. You can enter up to 30 characters. Let's finish the entry by selecting the invoice number on the Lines tab. You can distribute to multiple invoices by clicking the Select Invoices button and by selecting each invoice from the Select Manual Check and Payment Invoices window. You can distribute to multiple general ledger accounts by clicking the Create GL Distribution button. After entering the information, click Accept. As you can see, a wire transfer payment can be entered in Manual Check and Payment Entry. For detailed information on each field, press F1. You can also select the Help button for more information. See the other tours in this series to learn how to use the wire transfer feature.